man, Cooter's great. Yep, always. It's just a nice hug. It's like, welcome home. God, it feels like your dad finally came to your baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> and stayed for more than two innings before getting kicked out for a drunken public. Record this. <laughs> what are we doing here? Are we in? I mean, we're, we're we in. should very we're much in. be in right now. All, All right, right, well, we just started a podcast episode. What's up? Happy w- m- Wednesday? It's Memorial Day. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? Is it? I don't know. What is Memorial Is it Memorial Day or the celebration of what? Memorials. Cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> Labor Day. Labor Day. Uh, Veterans Day was last Friday. Oh, so it's kind of close. Is Labor Day about fucking? Like you're not allowed to fuck or you are allowed to fuck? Are, you, are women Sometimes allowed to Sometimes have... I like to just sit in silence and stare at you. I love you just, just keep going. It's my favorite moment. Um, um, Labor Day? Veterans Day? Labor Day was a month ago. Labor Day was a month ago. And Labor what, Day signifies what? the end of fall or something? No, I think it has to do with like the labor movements. Let's do our savings. Pretty. Why do you uh, not wear white after Labor Day? What's that about? Mm, I'll find out. Oh, I would like to say this. You know the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit? No. All right, Gabe, you know who had movie yep. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Great movie, yeah. Did we figure out whoever framed him? Is that the end of the movie? Did we ever figure out where in the world Carmen San Diego is? Honestly, do you, do you think she's just a whore that goes around and just blows people? If she had a... Dude, wait. Has anybody role-played Carmen Sandiego? It's kind of hot. It is hot. Like, you imagine walking in her house, she's like, God, where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Ugh, the dishwasher again? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Footfeet is blouse. Like, where, where am I going to be? I'll tell you. Tonight, November 16th, I'm in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. November 18th to the 19th, I'll be in Louisville, Kentucky. December 2nd to the 4th, I'll be in San Antonio, Texas. January 5th to the 7th, I'll be in San Diego, California. January 13th to the 15th, I'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina. February 10th to the 12th, I'll be in Tampa, Florida. February 17th to the 18th, I'll be in Virginia Beach. Guys, so many more dates, so many more dates. Go to BlauComedy.com. That is BlauComedy. Dot com. Mr. Wallace, tell him where you're yeah, going to be, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In New York. No, I'm not going to be in New York. I uh-huh. wish this Friday, Salt Lake City, one show, almost sold out, if not sold out. Then we're going to Boulder, <laughs> Colorado, December 8th. Fort Collins, December 9th. Oklahoma City, December 10th. Tulsa, Oklahoma. I know you have Wi-Fi. You told me. December 11th. New Haven, Connecticut, December 16th. Dude, Connecticut, New Haven, Connecticut, 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 December 16th. <laughs> Get your etiquette in Connecticut, Atlantic City, AC, the fucking Vegas of the East. Four. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice people. Uh, that is December 17th, Atlantic City, Red Bank, New Jersey, December 18th, Fort Lauderdale, January 27th, Charleston, James Charleston, January 28th, Asheville, North Carolina, January 29th, and January 30th, I'll be touching myself. Where, where are they going to get tickets? <laughs> TrevorWallsComedy.com. That's right. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Dishwashers are bullshit. They don't even they work. They don't do anything. They don't work. What I hate is you got to clean a dish before you put it in the dishwasher. Dumb. Let me throw a whole pot roast in there. You should. Eggs Benedict, right there. How do you feel about Eggs Benedict? Fire. So good. So good. What Without about holiday sauce? Boring. But with it, it's like this. It's like a weighted blanket of fucking... Uh. I mean, you can have it without holiday sauce, but it's like no. having sex with no moisture. It's like fine. It does its job. Right. I'm a big lube guy now. I switched up. I switched up. What made the change? Honestly, like human secretion, fine. Secretion? Yeah, but human humans, fine. It's okay. But, but, but it's not even about what the texture is. Isn't it the act of like, pff, fucking pff, oh, yeah. sunflower seeds on that? Pff. Yeah, but you can, <laughs> you can still do all that with the lube. But like lube, what? Yeah, you're putting it in your mouth to spit on her. Oh no, no, no! But you can lube your cock up in the JJ and then still spit. It's still hot. It's the action of spitting. Yeah, but the hot. spit's not doing anything. It's doing a little bit. Spit's not doing anything, right? So, dude, but it's like, like when somebody's bumper is falling out, they put a piece of duct tape on the side. It, like, do, it does it, something. Also, mentally. my car, my car's making a, a noise, irritating. Tesla, fix it. What do you mean? What's wrong with it? It's go, literally when I stop, it goes. Rah, 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 rah. It's like God. Do you need new? Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> do you need new brakes? I, it's been a year. I'm not a fucking F1 driver. Dude, if I, I need new brakes, I'll kill myself. That, I mean, that's extreme. Yeah. Oh, I was at, I thought this was funny. Um, I was at In-N-Out last night and the guy taking my order at the window noticed me. He's like, oh, dude, Trevor Walls. And then the guy behind him looks and he goes, 
who the fuck is that? <laughs> it took me out. <laughs> this is somebody who was trying to get the fuck out of their closing ship. Because he's like, you don't know who this is? I don't, who the fuck is that? And I was like, God damn, dude. Just give me my burger, please. I was like, this is, this in and out is going off. Chick-fil-A would be like, dearest brother of thy, who tis are you? I don't know why they talk like Arthur. They do. Who's Arthur? King? King. King so Arthur. There was a time when he wasn't a king. He was a squire. He was and an Arthur. He wrote some stuff. There was a time where he was just a squire. What's a he, squire? You don't, you don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't know what secretion is? What's a squire? A squire is a square the, in French? Correct. So <laughs> next question. <laughs> no, a squire is the dude who helps the knights. Puts on the knight's outfit, helps them like, you like know. A fluffer? Them, his, honestly, yes. Do they still have fluffers? They should. How do I apply for that? Dude, cut. Really? But like a female fluffer. I do a, I do a male fluffer. Just so to, you just suck them off real quick? I don't know if I'd suck them off, but I'd hit them. But is there a female fluffer where like the performer's about to go on and you just like make her wet? You yep. just stand there and strip to Backstreet Boys? I think so, maybe. Would it be, <laughs> but would it be like, it, it's a, with women, I feel like it'd be more like an emotional. Like you just like tell them that they're awesome and they're strong, independent females. And yeah, you don't have to like fucking finger blast them. You can just read them a nice novel, a page or two from like Fifty Shades of Grey. I, yes, but I feel like how many times do you think that author stopped to rub one out? I think every half a page. <laughs> Literally, he wrote like was it a lady or a dude who wrote that? Uh, I think it was a lady. I think they're horny. Some some gray. Oh no, that's the lead character. That's the name of the book. Was it? Uh, yeah, it's a woman. What's that's the name? hot. E. L. James, but I remember this now. They they purposely made their name kind of like uh, in between. Yeah. So like, E. L. Anyway, James connect. sounds like a wide receiver. <laughs> No, Gabe. Gabe um, you were, what were you saying? Gabe, you were saying what were you saying? Oh, Gabriel uh, about Angela. Yeah. So yeah, the sweet. Angela White episode last week, yeah. sweetheart of a lady, so nice. Yeah. Great, great person. Mm -hmm. Boobs. Very fun episode. Uh, <laughs> Just say boobs. Yeah. So racked <laughs> out during that uh, during that episode, <clears throat> I had this memory come back. I'm gonna have to do some research and find out if this is actually if my memory is correct. I think it's her. But when I was in uh, sober living, when I was trying to get off, you know, heroin. Uh, we didn't have any internet, so we didn't have. I couldn't just like stream porn there, right? But why? You think they'd give you internet? Well, or you Google like how to get high off bed linens? Yeah, I think it was like with that kind of like, uh, you know, it was kind of a, a a shitty group of guys. I don't think they wanted people to have access to the internet. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's crazy. If you yeah. had questions, you just had to think about it. Think about that's it. Go so to the weird. library. Crazy you know, libraries are. Good. How are tadpoles born? You just couldn't find out. Yeah, that's but now so we can. Weird. We, at any moment, we can just. Hello, answers. Yeah. People used to not, back in the day, they didn't fucking know. Before internet, no idea. Yeah. Who's the lead singer of the mamas and the papas? Someone Moms. Google that right now. We know. You had no idea. No idea. You That's ever, so stupid. You ever have somebody who like refuses to use the phone? They'd be like, what year did the Broncos go to the Super Bowl? What was it? Uh, and they keep guessing. And then one person will pull it up and they'll be like, oh, it's 85. And they're like, no, wasn't it like, um, you know what I wasn't love? It? It's like, we said it. We said it already. I love when people go, yeah, but what article was that? The who, internet. Who the fuck do you hang out with? No, but when people, when you give them the answer and they go, I don't think that, that's, that's not, that's not right. Who wrote that article? Dude, I'm a, you just fact uh, checking the internet. I don't know, man. Yeah, but this like, is right. But also there's so many bad, I, dude, I trust any website. Me too. Like I didn't know this until recently. Like the New York Post is like trash. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like a meme page. Yeah. A me that's like a nice way to put it. But, but if they wrote an article, they're like, this is the funniest stand up comedian ever. I'd be like, New York? <laughs> Post, like it sounds legit. Yeah, Red it, here, Robin, yum. What do you mean? Why are they bad? New York Post actually used to be a legitimate, like a legitimate. Uh, news. Right. What happened with that? Some they probably posted something about are, JFK, are, and they're like, "Oh fuck, they pop it off." Are they purposely bad, or is it yeah. like the Onion, where they like make fake stuff? Uh, no, they they just really leaned into tabloid shit. That's uh, who they I, are. I now. love it's when people po repost the Onion, like seriously. It is really, really funny. It's just it, it's so funny because you're letting everyone who follows you know that you're dumb. But are they reposting to try to like? No, no. They'll be like, "Are you serious?" Question mark. Question mark. Like they'll reshare it on the story and be like, "I can't believe this is happening. This is the world we live in." Man, this when you go, "This is the world we live in," then get off the, <laughs> then, then then leave. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's how I feel every time. Like, I don't see him as much anymore, but it'll always be on like a fake Twitter account. It'd be like, this is Ellen DeGeneres. Retweet this for a chance at a million dollars. And then people would retweet it. And they'd yeah. be like, just for a shot. You never know. You really think 
Ellen DeGeneres, the girl who punched a PA in the face and then <laughs> spit on her afterwards. Hot. Yeah, that didn't happen. But it's like, you really think that's how a celebrity is going to donate? The retweet this. And then they just turned it into like a cat meme page two months later. <coughs> Sorry. Bless you. How do you feel about people who don't say bless you? Uh, I feel the same way when I hold a door and they don't say anything. Say something. Show I'm them. so petty when I hold a door for somebody and they don't say anything. I will verbally, yeah. out loud, and this isn't the right move to do, but I do it. I go, you're welcome. Of course. I do Because I need to time. validate myself. I, I Dude, I was at uh, Michael's, you know, that design store. Your house? God damn! Well, anybody who's shopping at Michael's is probably in an artistic funk. I don't Isn't know. Crazy people get broken up with them. Like, I'm going to go do art. It's literally the what people happened. that walk in. A- they go. They go up. No, I'm saying that oh, that, oh, that, oh, that oh, happened. Like, do you They're have like- news for us? No, but you go to Michael's. Like the Pete. Okay, go ahead. No, no. I was just going to say that I was opening uh, a door for this woman, and th- she was uh, how dare I say attractive. Open the door and she walked through the door like I worked for her. You know, it's funny if they're hot. I don't care. Oh, I actually care so much more if they're really? attractive. Yeah, because I feel like they live in a world that's not real. And then so they walk through the door and they just like, you think the door just opened? You think you're just hotness to open the door? I just, I feel You're like, welcome. I feel like that and a sneeze are like the two that are like, you're just born with those. With, with that. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I feel like you were just born knowing that that's the thing you should be like oh thank you like you are just out the womb there's two things somebody yes. holds the door and when you see somebody says bless you those are the two that you're born knowing to how to be like oh this is how i respond here's something wild though like if your family wasn't like it's it, it, in my experience if your family wasn't the the ones that are kind of pushing like these are manners they don't yeah. know manners but i, I but that. i will say but when you get to a certain age and you you the whole like, oh, my parents didn't teach me. That only goes so far. You've been in the world. You're 30. You've been in the world. That's what I'm for saying. Thir- like, you've never heard anyone say bless you before? Dude, my parents made my sister go to this thing called cotillion. Have you know, do you know what this is? Yes. It's, it's you do? Yes. It's for manners. Yep. And you go there to learn how to be a proper young lady or lad or whatever. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to go. I think my parents thought it'd be wasted money on me. They're like, this kid ain't doing shit. I don't know if cotillions are for- smoking weed out of a Lego. Did you do that? Hold up. Boy, did I. You know what I built? A bong. Here's a, I haven't smoked weed in a long time. I'll I, change that. I know. I got I just got to go to like a Marriott just by myself, just smoke weed and jerk off on pillows. Just for a me day. Yeah. And not even like on the road. Just go to like Torrance. Yeah. And just get a, get a fucking shared That post no regret goes crazy. When? Then. Like you come and you're just in Torrance. <laughs> yeah, but, but I come and I'll go to sleep. That's true. I don't come and then read a book or like Man. have thoughts. After I come, I shut off. I need a recharge. Six to seven minutes just lying is that, down. Is that how you unplug at night? You just, yeah. That's essentially ripping the cord out. What's the worst? What's the worst? Is there something worse than when you come and you don't go to sleep? I am yelling at my body. I'm like, what? No, now, now you, you did know. It. You know the rest. We did the power off button. Go to sleep. You ever oh. fuck with melatonin? I, uh, <laughs> not really. Saving money? What? Huh? You fuck with saving money? You fuck with saving money? Melatonin just That's gives me different weird... than melatonin. You just it just gives me weird dreams. And I how much I... you take? You gotta take half of what they say. I just take whatever the bottle says. Nah, you take a full Monty, you get weird. You think you're a dragon. It's very odd. Well, I just don't like how I can't be in control of my own dreams, you know? Like why is my dreams bad? Because I took a little gummy that tastes like elderberry. Like, let me fuck hot women. Do you fuck? I I haven't had I've, a good dream in forty years. <laughs> they, they're never good. I always like like I I've been having sexual dreams lately. There you go. But I never come. Problem, they, dude. I literally had a dream the other night where I couldn't get it up. That's but I'm a, like, but I'm like, what? No, I'm. I'm just, but I'm like, why? Sucks. Why is this happening? Like this is a dreamland. Like if can't. anything, I have four cocks and they're all hard. <laughs> but I'm in my own body with my own Jewish anxiety. There's a girl on top of me. It was a porn star, oddly enough. She's on top of me, and I like can't get it up. And she's like, "Oh, like am I not hot enough?" I'm like, "This is a re- this is too real." Not that I would fuck a porn star. I mean, I would, but not that <laughs> not that they're out chasing right, me. Right, right. But the fact that I like couldn't get it up, and my anxiety was like, "Ah, oh, well, it's not usually like that." Like, and this is a dream. Yeah, I mean, because in Dreamland, you can do anything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and your body My cock should be a ciabatta loaf. Whoa. Whoa. God damn. Yo, today's video is sponsored by our friends at SeatGeek. 
Dude, if you don't know already, bro, SeatGeek's a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple, all right? I've got the app on my Me phone. Me too. You too, dude. And it's by far and away the and best way to buy you tickets. Speaking of you too, they're a man. They are. This is a ticketing app. So you can buy you two tickets if they're on. Are they dead? Listen. Uh, no, alive and well. Okay. Well, yeah, they make it super deal. simple for you. They, they want you to get a, get a good deal. Yep. So if there's like red dots, no, no, no. Green nope. dots, good. Bing. Uh, anyways, everyone's like, hey, how do I get it? Hey, let me tell you something. Don't worry. We've got the hookup, okay? Use code SOCKS for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Whoa, how much? That's $20 20 off. 20 bucks? Dude, yeah. That you could spend the money on like parking or like a beer. Buddy, I went to a Clippers game and I used SeatGeek. Our, our did you really? Code. I swear to God. You saved 20 bucks? I did. It was, it was really nice. Because I don't know if you know about Clippers, the tickets are $11. So they gave us money to go. Anyways, so uh, so code SOCKS for $20 off your first SeatGeek order. Use code SOCKS for $20 off again. Make Good. sure you click the link in the description to download the app today. Do Dude, it. Dude, there'll be concerts on there you didn't even know were coming up in your city. So it's just a fun way to see what's going on in the town. I love it. God damn. You never finished your porn story. Oh. Um, you are in I sober, in sober living. living. I didn't have any access to porn. I had a roommate that had a hard drive. Uh, hard. And what? One day I found out on his hard drive he had like a folder full of porn. What do you mean you found out? How did you find out? You were I looking was, just for I old tax returns? If, I was looking to see if there was porn on there. Yeah, let's be yeah. honest. And uh, So you had a laptop but no internet? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Because there was no Wi Fi. Like, I guess at this point, yeah. I like. Yeah, but a, but everybody yeah. had that shit saved on there, no? Yeah, this shit was. Dude, just I, saved I, on the partner. thing is, is like, if you don't give a man Wi-Fi, we'll find a, we'll find a tit. For sure, yeah, we'll know. I got somewhere in my phone. I have a screen recorded video in case there's ever like a hurricane in California. Mm -hmm. There's no Wi-Fi. I have a, a screen recorded video. Dude, I have tits on me right now. Look at this. I could come to this. <laughs> Look at could this. You? I if I if you I do this and just to that. and just think about. You want to see something even crazier? You see that? Yeah. <laughs> I could come to that. Well, I'm that's seeing tits, dude. Well, that's that's one of those uh, weird like sex sex parties to me, mm. like the masks and stuff. Oh, I we gotta go our... to one of those just for just for an episode. Hold up, the four year anniversary. Isn't that funny? Oh, come on, baby, we're going to a sex party. What? That's oh, for the podcast. It's for okay, content. yeah, I'll go. I just want to. I just want to peruse. You think yeah. it's, you think it's weird to just take out binoculars? Where at the sex party? Mm, I'm it, bird watching. If, <laughs> Hooters, tits, tits. This whole thing's about tits. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, if it's those binoculars that come on a stick and you put them up to your eye yeah. right here, I think it's accepted. Those are so dumb. Yeah, those are so dumb. Anything that like that, the long cigarettes back in the day, a Hail. monocle, a watch, the pocket watch that had like the little case on it in their pocket. Now the pocket watch are far. I kind of like it. If you first of all, when was the last time you asked them what time it was? today no yeah, me for me it was like 15 minutes ago oh really yeah I, all where the time you, all the you? time i well you know i always annoy i always annoy i'm <laughs> i'm from iowa you know what i always annoy? no but but what it is is like um uh, what am i trying to say here you ever ask somebody the time and it takes them longer to give you the answer yep. on the time that yep. you could have just pulled out your phone to look at the time you know what pisses me off that is, is when i go Alexa, what's the time? And she goes, ah, bit, bit. bitch, I could have just looked. Right. Or you like to say to play a song and it's like, yeah. we are only playing things off of Amazon music. <laughs> Didn't ask. <laughs> play Spotify. Yes. That's, that's your, it. you have, you have. Fr that's like the one good thing I love about the Tesla is it's synced with Spotify. So I can hold a button and be like, play, blah, blah, blah. And it just goes straight to Spotify. But Alexa, you doing brand deals with Amazon. We get it. You're an Amazon product, but like, let's be universal. I told her to play Frank Ocean Bicycle. And she was like, oh, no problem. It's raining men. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, that's not even close. Alexa was horny. It's, but it's, it's, how, how? It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Is that what I think it's about? Is that come? Raining can men. You look up, can you look at the etymology of that yeah, goddamn song? Yeah, yeah. Etymology? <laughs> yeah, you order it with sushi? Funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so wait, Gabe, you had a hard drive. So I found out. So my roommate had a hard drive full of porn. So I transferred it over to my computer, and uh, you know, I went perusing one day, and I'm now. So this, I just remembered this when Angela White was here when she was. Did talking you ask about, him if you could do that? 
Or did you just steal his porn? I just stole his porn. Hilarious. I didn't steal it. Like, he, it was still on his hard drive. I didn't delete it. I didn't take it and delete it from him. Right, right. You know? Right. Okay. I should just upload you a video of you rubbing one out and put right. it on his hard drive. I'd watch yeah. that. Um, but so she, Angela was talking about uh, gene ripping. That she's yeah. done a gene ripping scene. Mm -hmm. And I think that that Very. was one of the videos on this hard drive. And I think it was her. God, why, why is that hot? Because it's just, you're so horned up. You don't even want to be like, oh, where's your belt? Where's your button? Where's your, it's just like, fuck, get up. Maybe that's why the Hulk is so horned up. Because his Maybe, jeans are ripped. What if he just came and just turned into a normal man? Wouldn't that be hilarious if the Hulk just busted a nut and then he's just a guy just driving for Postmates he's and he's like, oh, David Banner? Where's the nearest Mendocino Farms? Hulk's life is just a, a full of anxiety. He's either a scientist trying to discover some shit or someone just killing people in cabs. Like, he could never have just a day where he's just reading a book. Yeah. His life's. A, I like to see his cock. That's what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> the Hulk's. Yeah. I. You know, essentially, I went my whole life not wondering what his cock looked like, and really? now here I am. It's weird. I've seen memes of like Shrek's cock. The internet is obsessed with sexifying Shrek. It's hilarious. I. What, what's what's his wife's name? Fiona. Fiona. Is it? Could mm -hmm. get it. Fiona's a great name. It's interesting. It'll catch you off guard. You don't like it? I do like it. It's yeah, not my go-to. Yeah. I don't know if I want to yell Fiona, but then again, some women out there have to yell Trevor. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, my name's Michael. Stupid. My last name's Blaustein. I mean, what? Yeah, people would be fucking that last oh, name. Oh, they don't even try. So what it, does does your girl say Michael in bed? Or does she say like what nah, she, what she, she says like master. <laughs> God. <laughs> she says like sir and shit. Yeah. But does she ever say Michael? I mean, when something about hearing my own name does something for me. Even over really? text, like, haha, Trevor. What? So, you know my name? Dude, if my girl called me Michael, I'm in trouble. Yeah, she but, goes, but yeah, there's, Michael, a, different, I but there's a different that, tone. Oh, Jesus. But there's a different tone to it. If she doesn't call me baby, I'm, f I, I, she hates me in that moment. Baby? Yeah. She's like, oh, well, baby, or honey. Yeah. So, honey, I am, or baby, but if, right, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, I don't, I don't know, but just like in the bed, like, oh, Michael. You know what? I was against it the entire time we were talking about it. I, I, I might your be own in. name is. Yeah, it might be in. It's cool. It's re reassuring. Oh, You're like, that is my name. Michael, you bad fuck. But I have to add some stuff. Well, I, Michael, I, I don't know. But like, I don't hear my name often unless I'm at a Starbucks. So sometimes <clears throat> it's nice to hear your fucking chimer. Hot. Somebody. No, no, Get no, on board. I was, I'm on board. But Gabe. Jack. Do you like, do you like Gabriel in bed? Ooh. I don't think I've ever been called Gabriel in bed. Have you well, been called Gabe in bed? Mm -hmm. Gabe's fine. What do you like to hear? I'm kind of like daddy. Oh! Daddy's good. Daddy's good. <laughs> that is a good one, yeah. What about dad? <laughs> I prefer yeah. papa, yeah. Yeah, give With it to me, dad. Or... Like, what? <sighs> daddy. Daddy's so fucking Do you think daddy's up. played out at all? Nope. Really? It's getting there. Yeah, I, I, that's how I kind of felt a little bit. I, I, I was hearing it and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Might be. What comes next, though? Where do you go from daddy? Father. <laughs> Grandpa. Sensei. Peepa. <laughs> if your mom. If, oh, Mima. If your fucking girl hits you with sensei, Jesus Christ. That's wild. That's pretty hot. Oh, fucking yes, sensei. Or maybe like uh, general manager. That's good. Let me see your manager. Oh, That's kind of hot. Oh, you're the CFO. Hot, dude, this is, I, I, I really, you know how you said, I don't want to be on this planet anymore. If there's Karen porn, I don't want to be on this planet anymore. But you know, like role play Karen. Mm -hmm. she, how has there not been that? There's got to be. She has like a shitty Android phone. She's like, you guys can't park here. And they're like, you know what? I can't park here. Whip Scott at it. She's like, oh, I was going to call 911, but there's a nine right in front of me. <laughs> yep. And then she's like, I'm going to call my manager. And then the manager comes over and well, then dude, blows that guy too. <laughs> good <laughs> good nine one one well they made like a karen movie i think it was on like bet or something and it like the the trailers i think we watched it on patreon no oh I don't they made so. like a karen movie it's just like i don't like when the internet has a thing and then hollywood's like we're gonna make this a thing now it's never you well, ruin it's too it. late you ruin it it's too late the big the fun people came in and yep. then it gets ruined yep it's like when espn starts using slang it's over the, whatever that word is it's done yeah Oh, everyone in the fucking... Yes, Jack. I was just going to ask Trevor, how did you feel about Angela calling your dad daddy? Oh, yeah. Uh, Angela called my dad daddy over FaceTime, and I was picturing that I was on FaceTime with Angela. <laughs> that was me. Did you ever call your dad daddy? Probably. Yeah. Daddy. 
Dada. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, but like. But you can't be 21 calling your dad daddy. Yeah, I think you call him Pops for a while. Pops. Pops. pops I call still out. I call my dad dad. father. Like fucking around. I'm like, ah, oh, father. Like that. But I don't like, I'm not, dad is how you call your dad. My sister calls my dad by his government name. Shut up. <laughs> it's That's the fucking, funniest thing ever. It's wild. If I'm, my dad and my child is calling me by my government. No. I'm dad. I'm dad. I paid you. D-A-D. Yeah. I paid Dad. Your, I literally paid your, for your whole life. Yeah. Don't call me fucking Michael. It's that's stepdad energy. Yeah, I can't even call my stepdad. I, like, no, you, what I. What do you I, call your stepdad? I did. I guess I did call him. I didn't call him stepdad. I didn't that's call him. That's even dad. weirder. I didn't call him dad for sure. Hey, dad, can you come over here real quick? Sounds normal. Stepdad, can you come over here real quick? Well, you better. That sounds your, crazy. Yeah, but you got a cock lick. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> yeah, what's next in that realm of porn where it's not stepdad? It's just. Yeah, there has to be the next wave of it. I think we know it's just going to work its way down the family tree. Cousins, second cousins are about to get that work. Yeah. Or I think it's going to turn, like, just keep leaning more in towards, like, like hentai and fucking, like, oh, bunny girls and shit like that. Where it's like- Bunny girls? I'm in. Energize. Energize. Me. Uh, what do you mean bunny girls? Is girls dressed like bunnies? Yeah, girls dressed like bunnies. Little bunny ears. Like <laughs> so that. hot. Any of that elf shit? How you guys feel about the elf ears? Fucking god I'm, damn it, you Lord of the Rings bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You don't like it? I, no, I could I get on board with yeah, it. It's not elf, my go to. Yeah, I mean, not a lot all, of these things that you really like, I, I, I'll I'll take a, a lap around the block, but it's not my go to. You'll take like a little sample spoonful? Yeah, I'm at Costco. I'm not a big fan of olives, but if I'm there and they're handing them out, I'll, I'll dabble. Yeah, the elf ear stuff really does something to me. Anything that's not human, I like that. Like you said, there's paint green skin, you fucking E.T. I but love does that, that. Does that, and not sound like a fucking narc, but does that give you unrealistic expectations for your girlfriend? Yes. 100%. Do you, do you ever hint at stuff that's like too weird and she's like, what? And you're like, ah, I'm kidding. She's like, you want me to dress as Mewtwo? And you're like, ah, <laughs> what? I'm just riffing here. Comic. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've ever, and this is on me. I, I don't know if I've ever been like, oh, you, like, let's. You, sirens they're on the way they're coming from me you don't know if you've ever i don't know if i've ever been like hey maybe you should dress like this maybe you should dress like i think she's taken some hints along the way and like done it mm -hmm. but i've never like directly been like oh this is so hot if you'd wear this blah 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 okay I, I mean i should like my girl in like like emo stuff with like two like pigtails fuck would what? she do that like, so? she's she, she's so like wholesome to me i feel like but I, but maybe that's why it would be hot so opposite of yeah you know yeah I think, yeah, I, yeah, I think uh, in, in the sexual uh, realm, I think a lot of people like outside of the bedroom are like a certain way and then inside the bedrooms like cross over into this like dark recess of someone's brain and then just go at it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it's, right? I mean, don't you guys think you're like normal people and then you like cross over the threshold of fuck town and then you're like, it is just so funny that like you're like in there you're slapping they're spitting it's wild it's like a fucking wwe match except the only thing we're choking out is uh oh right? you're getting after it it's wild animalistic behavior and then five minutes goes by and all of a sudden you guys are both just showing each other like cat memes in it's, the bed it's so odd. it's like the 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 night and day of like oh fucking yeah fucking oh i'm gonna go oh, my mouth, oh. right and then you're just like Look at this cat. He thinks he's, a, <laughs> he's just a pumpkin. It is weird when you have to when you have errands to do afterwards, and then she's like, "Oh, we have errands, y yeah." <laughs> you be coming and be like, "Gotta go to Best Buy." <laughs> Probably half the time. Really? Yeah, we've come well, yeah, and I feel like got... you guys fuck at like three p.m. Yeah, we have to because after ten, we're not allowed. <laughs> no, you are allowed. I get the joke. Funny. <laughs> Is um, your neighbor still uh, hating they you? They haven't said anything. We also haven't fucked in two in the morning since. I'll change that. Uh, hold up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. Today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped. Dude, I manscaped this morning. Did you? How's it looking? Looks good, bro. It looks clean. It looks like somebody I would trust. Dude. It looks like somebody who went to a barbershop earlier that week. Oh, I, thought yeah? about, I thought you were about to pull your pubes out. But you're wearing the Manscaped boxers. I am. 
What they feel wearing? so good, dude. Join the 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off, dude, plus free shipping with code STIFF, dude. They have all types of shit that we all love. The lawnmower 4.0 is great. Dude, that's what great. I used today, the 4.0. Fuck, woke up the neighbors. Rah, rah. Just Buzz. kidding, it's quiet. Buzz, dude, it's dude. sleek, it's got an LED light on, it's waterproof. I literally think about the, the, where we're at in the future. I trim my balls in the shower, water, and it was dark, but I had a light. What's going on? I'll tell you. The future. The metaverse, dude. Dude, the Platinum Package 4.0 has everything head to toe. Uh, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. I love that. The fuck, dude, they have pouches that you can wipe your balls to like clean off after a long day. What's happening? It's like literally, this is how you upgrade your men's grooming. Like you got a girl coming over, but you don't got a ton of shower. <laughs> that was a car wash. I'm like, Cuck. whoa. That's what Manscaped is. It's a car wash for your cock. So go to manscaped.com and get 20% off. Whoa, and free shipping with code STIFF. That is 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com when you use code STIFF. It's time to be leave and the leaves be gone, bitch. Make your cock look bigger. The tree trunk's time to shine. God damn. So, Aaron's, you just, that, well, yeah, like, I mean, you, like you get a nut to... off and then you got to fucking. Yeah, we have to go to Target to get a dry erase board. It's fucking wild. Yeah. I... And then you're walking and I'm like, I'm still like 30% hard. And I'm like, this is fucking weird. That, that quick? Like for real, like sometimes we schedule our we're schedule the schedule too tight, and then you gotta we gotta uh, on the, the move. The thing is, you gotta you gotta make time to fuck off. What do you mean? You gotta make time to come and then be checked out from reality. Yeah, give me ten minutes. Oh yeah, to think about what it would have been like if I was a praying mantis as a child. That would be fun. Yes, but like just moments where you're just like. The fans kind of just caressing your body. But when you're in that moment, are you thinking? I'm not thinking at all. I'm just fucking sleeping. But really? Actually, I had a really weird post nut dream, by the way. I was doing that dream. So you came and went to sleep? Came and like went to sleep. Yeah. Uh oh my god, I'm why am I blanking on his name? Uh is uh he passed away now, but he's a insanely funny comic. He was part of the um Kings of Comedy tour. Uh, not Steve Harvey. Bernie Mac? Thank you. Bernie Mac, I was doing a set in like this weird, like almost like bar mitzvah type feel of a room. It was like real bright. And I was like, doing the joke like at some, you know, you're on stage, you kind of do the joke at somebody. So I'm doing the joke and then I look left and Bernie Mac is sitting there with his wife, I think. And he's wearing gla like, like sunglasses. In the crowd? <clears throat> in the crowd. And he's wearing sunglasses, I guess, to like not be noticed. And I look, and in my head, I'm like, that's fucking Bernie Mac. What's happening? And then I turn, and I'm trying to do the joke still, but I'm so distracted as Bernie Mac. And then I'm like, he's never seen me do stand-up. I'm like, oh my God, what if I bomb? And then I just start losing the joke. And then I'm like, and then, uh, uh yeah, you know. And then like he's like, and then I'm just, and then I start bombing, and then I wake up. Bernie Mac! And th what does this have to do with cum? <laughs> It was just my post. I when I have post nut dreams that are very vivid, but when really? I actually go to sleep, I don't have dreams. Really? No, I don't have dreams in life either. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that is. I don't know. You come and then your brain is empty, so it's got to fill it up with memories. I think. But if you so. go to sleep filled up, it's still filled up. Hold up. Hold up. Well, yeah, I, I feel like I never have a dream <laughs> where I'm doing well. No. Where, where I'm like, like on top of the world, just throwing out gold bricks. The does, people on Wall Street. Does anybody, do you guys have dreams, the like Gabe or Jack, that are like good? No. Right? No. Dreams are to be scared. Yeah. What about people who write down, they wake up in the middle of the night and write down their dreams? What does that improve again? They say it improves your ability to remember your dreams later on. But what, uh, what are you going to do? Turn that into an A24 <laughs> film? Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys, have you guys ever had like a lucid dream where you know you're dreaming and you're in control of it? No. No. I, I I've wish. never been in the first person It used to happen to me in like fucking, like in like the, the absolute age you would want that to happen. And when I was like 13 years old, there was like, I don't know, like half a year where I could lucid dream. Really? I was fucking. And <laughs> Dude, every, I think every time I have a sexual dream, I, I, I'm about to nut and then I wake up. Yeah. Like I get so horned up that I'm excited that my brain's like, oh, 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 this is happening. Yeah. You ever try to fall back asleep to continue? Yeah, you try to get Never back into that dream. Never, Never happens. Yeah, you wake up at a fucking pet co. You're like, no. <laughs> this is not it at all. <laughs> God why, damn it. Why is there a farm? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. So, that, Gabe, you were fucking? Yeah, he's just fucking. There was, where in this last, where like, would you go? Like B&E's? Well, no, it would be like you could, it would be like, I would be like in scenarios, right? Like 
It was like, like a normal dream. But well, then paint I would, me a picture, Daddy. All right, so like I'm at like a party with like my fucking high school crush, and it's like but then I, there's some t- at some point I realize that I'm dreaming, <laughs> okay. and and so then I like lose all of the fear, right? And so I'm like, yeah. hey, you want to bang? And then she wants that's to bang. That's what you say? Yeah, I'm Honestly, that's what I would say. Yeah. I'm so bad with flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like 13 bang? years old. You what? Uh, I was like 13 years old when this was happening. Oh, I was like yeah. a kid. Uh, but the same thing would usually happen. Like as soon as like I was about to come, I would wake up. God. Yeah, I used to have these uh, really vivid dreams when I was a kid where I would be sitting on the, the stoop of my best friend Theo's, stoop. Theo's house. And we're sitting <laughs> Bitch had a stoop. <laughs> it's just stairs. Have you ever seen stairs in front of a house? Stoop? Yeah, in all New York, they're Bro. all fucking stoops. I don't. I just think of Hey Arnold when I hear the word <laughs> stoop. Stoop kids afraid to leave a stoop. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm sitting there with stoop with my with my buddy Theo, and I would have these vivid dreams that like women would walk by, mm-hmm. and then th- it's like such a simple fucking twelve year old dream. But then she would like turn and like walk up to us and be like, "Hey, so like, I was actually looking for a fucking twelve year old dick. What's up?" And like that would be my dream, mm-hmm. and I would never. We would never get to the fucking. But in my head, I was like, oh, we're gonna, and then I just wake up. And I had that same dream maybe like six times, just sitting on a stoop with Theo, and some <laughs> random woman would walk by, wow. and then she would like door dash me some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the wildest note somebody's ever left on their like Postmates or like Uber Eats? You know, it says like notes at the very bottom. It's like, yeah, grab some napkins and some bitches. <laughs> Oh, um, do you ever do you ever write anything there? Yeah, I'll be like grab hot sauce if it's like a like I'm getting like Mexican food or something. Like, oh, can you grab some hot sauce or something? Probably their phone number, but that's a gamble, huh? Yeah, but yeah. <clears throat> Have you ever given your like Uber driver or Lyft driver your number? No, I I don't think that I don't know the last time I just gave my number. I think in this day and age, it's all Instagram. Like a girl gave me her number after the show in Houston, and I was like. Pissed that she gave me because it was a number on a napkin that she gave to Tony, who was opening the show, to give to me. Whoa, that's like telephone. Yeah, literally. But <laughs> in this day and age, I'm like Instagram. I would rather just DM you that way because I don't know what a phone number. I don't know. I mean, you could be the nicest person ever. You could be hot as fuck, or you could call this number and it's just like scop it to be, you know, like yeah. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. You got to do some research, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, if you call someone out of nowhere, yeah, that but a that's number what it was, was given to you. It literally, it just said the bar location, like meet me here. At well, that's the how DJ you get booth. murdered. I mean, yeah, she should have at least sketched her face on the napkin. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now that's lucid dreaming. I was waiting for, but like, you know, what am I supposed to? I mean, not 100% not calling. I mean, that's like, uh, right. you can't. Right. But but that's where we're at today, where I was like, if she would have put her Instagram, I would have immediately checked it. And then would have been like, oh, oh, that's what you're saying. Seems like a yeah. nice lady. Yes, yes. Seems yes. like she knows how to play a fiddle or two, and I ain't talking instrument. What are you talking about? Cock. Oh. So I think <laughs> I, it's easier to kind of picture yourself. I said, okay, 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 you know. And yeah. I, I don't want to be like, that's, you know, you can't just, I, you're just, ju- but, but a random number, that's the same as a spam call. I don't know who this person is. The random number's crazy. The, 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 if you're talking or if a girl walks up to you or a guy walks up to you and just hands you the number. Yeah, because then you can associate a face. Can, yes. But I was yes, in a yes, green yes, room. Yes. I have no idea. And then I, I asked Tony, I was like, what did, what did she look like? He's like, oh, it was so quick. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'm not calling that number. Yeah. I'm going to call. It's going to be a bail bond. hundred percent. Bail bonds. be putting ads in the wrong places. Put the billboard in jail. I'm driving. I'm a free man. Yeah, but they can't. But they can't make. A, well, they can make one phone call. Yeah, but like, what's a bail bond? That's what I'm saying. Bond you out of bail. You know but, what I mean? Yeah, I bail you. you out of bond. Bail you out of bond. Bail you out of bond. Well, how does a judge know what bond to set? Oh, you bail bond? Huh? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> but I mean, the we judge do like is six like... episodes in two days. <laughs> But why are they on the freeway? I'm in jail. It's not. It's for the people to try to bail your friend out of jail. Not for you. I don't you. give a fuck. You don't care about your friends? If you're locked up, we're going solo on this podcast. That's mean. Help me. <laughs> Wait, no, obviously, but. Yeah, I, it, well, you know, well, no, I, I know. hear you. I hear you. But the but you're supposed to help the person that's in jail. It's not for the person that's in jail. Okay. Does that I'm make done. sense? Yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. But with the with the bail. It's like, all right, if you like choked out a quarterback after the game, all right, cool. But how do you set the like? Do you know what I mean? How do yeah, you how be do like? Know how oh, much? a thousand bucks. Well, I think they just go like, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it, and that's how you get fucked over. 
And then the bail bonds, you take like, it's like an APR. Like if you get like a thousand or five thousand dollars, whatever, and then it's is it like a loan? It's like, I I believe so. Yeah, yeah it's probably it's just a loan. yeah. And then is that why? And then dog the bounty hunter, he comes after you if you don't pay the bond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Fuck. If this they, is a whole business. Like loan sharks. I used to think a bounty yeah. hunter was somebody who killed somebody under a mission. <laughs> they and that is not it. No, I is think it? they do. Yeah, they can do both. They can do both. They can't kill. They can be like, you better pay for your Pacific Bell, or we're gonna shoot you. I guess whoever's paying higher. Hold wow. on. Hold. But loan sharking is for loan de sharking. debts. Those are like the mobsters. And they're like, hey, if you don't pay this, I'll break your knees. Yeah. Well, what if I don't have the money? Please don't break my knees. Or what if you don't have knees? <laughs> That's <laughs> true. I'll break your... You're like, ugh, man. I don't... That is crazy how they just like knock on your door and they're just like, well, we're here to collect something. And you're yeah. like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want warm tea? It is funny to go to a, a gambling degenerate's house a degenerate gambler's house and be like, give me the money that you owe me. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's here. What oh, are you I got fucking it. talking about? I just put $4,000 on the Knicks. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> you think I have money? My front door is made out kids. of a Home Depot box. For sure. Yeah. I literally just, my wife's wedding ring, I just hocked to put it on the Celtics over. You think I got money? God damn. <sighs> Look, it's raining. People are lonely. You got a, you got a date? Oh, what are you going to take her to a Chili's? No. No. Take her to the Spice Town, USA. That's in your kitchen. Hello Fresh. What is it, dude? I'll tell you. With Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your freaking doorstep, dude. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit, dude. The holidays just around the corner, and Hello Fresh makes uh, this busy time of year easier than ever with Chef. Crafted, crafted recipes and pre-portioned pre ingredients delivered, delivered right to your door. door. So you can spend less time meal planning and prepping. Like that's literally just make things easier. And that's what they do. They ship it to your door. You don't even got to think about it. It's all proportion. You don't got to measure shit out. You, it, like it comes measured. Like, oh, you want a cup of flour? Bitch in a dime bag, cup of flour. One lemon squeeze, there it is. If I'm telling you, do it just for fun. If you like it. It's a fun activity because if you live alone, then you have it because it cooks for two each meal. You live alone, you got food Black. for tomorrow. Overs, dude. Or fuck it, bro. You hungry? Eat it all. Dude, they they had a chicken like tiki masala type thing they sent me one day. Yeah. It was so fucking good. I was ate like, it oh, all. leftovers? No, ate it all. Go to HelloFresh.com <laughs> slash Stock65 and use code Stock65 for 65% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh.com. Yep. But before you hit enter, do a slash. Yep. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> 65. Sock 65. And then when you get there, yep. use promo code Sock 65 for 65% off. Dude, that's, what is it, Black Friday? That's practically free. That's why you use Sock 65 because it has 65% off. And free shipping. God damn. What are the weirdest things somebody's put down on a Vegas table? You know, like, here's the keys to my Ferrari, but like, what's the weirdest? A baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just literally a baby? Or like their frozen semen? Depends. Depends on who you are, dude. If, Genetically, if you're like, you know, yeah. I got, you know, I can run a 60 meter dash in 0.4 seconds. Yeah, here you go. You're a Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah. You're the speed of light. <laughs> yeah, if you're Anne from your Hardaway and you just put your fucking frozen cum on the goddamn table, I mean, that's easily worth 10 grand. Yeah. Can you do that? Sure. <laughs> it might not be legal, but you can do it. <laughs> you can do anything. That's really. great. That's that's why that's so great about America. You can do anything. Literally, can do anything. I don't. Except, I don't want to yeah. do all anything. What's the weirdest animal you would fight for some money? Kangaroo. Easy. They would fuck you up. No. Sir, <laughs> I don't think what so. are you talking about? I don't think about? so. You don't think I a don't kangaroo think so. would beat your ass? I'll fucking hide in that pouch, bitch. I'll beat, I'll That's beat their ass internally. I'll get in that pouch and just start <clears throat> punching them. That's funny. Just rip their gallbladder out, uh, start eating it. <laughs> mean. <laughs> Realistically, an animal <clears throat> I could fight. And win. Uh, like if I was like, I'll give you a million dollars if you can beat this animal's ass. I mean, don't say ant or something, you know. Mm. What's the most, Harry, this is a better question. What's the most dangerous animal you would fight for money? Bitch, am I getting <laughs> a flash flood warning? <laughs> I just got a, what, is, what does that mean? There's I don't know, but why did you just get it? <laughs> yeah, right. I thought it was an amber alert. Isn't that crazy? Flash floods and amber alerts are on oh, the same page of notifications? Just got it. Got it. You know what's a flash odd? flood warning is in effect in this area until 4.45 p.m. You know what's odd? I, is what if your daughter's name is Amber and she gets taken? 
Amber, Amber alert. You know what else is odd? You ever got a flash flood warning after you fuck so good? <laughs> God, no. <laughs> I fucking wish. What the hell? Did you guys read this whole thing? <clears throat> no. Nope. This is a dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area or under an evacuation. Wait, is this for real going on right now? Hold on. So then what do we have to do? Sleep here? We'll do another eight podcast today. <laughs> Hold on, we have to stay here? I really want to do a sleepover podcast. Me I think too. It's so funny. Fuck everything tonight. Fuck our spots. Who cares about dates? What? Huh? What is a flash flood warning? This morning it was sunny and like chill. I don't really, I don't know what it means. A I'm flash to flood? Out. Is that what happened in the ark? Do we have to put animals on a boat right now? All animals made it on that boat? Zero. Ant eaters, aardvarks were on that bitch? Get two of them. No. Every, there's no way. You got it. A bald eagle? A naked bull rat? That's not even a real thing. Also, it's funny to be a bird and you don't get invited on the boat because you're like, oh, bitch, watch this. Then you fly on and land. And they're just like, all right. Yeah, there's definitely animals that didn't get invited. Yeah. And those are all dinosaurs. Pterodactyls. We did the same joke. <laughs> what's happening right now? Why is there a fucking flash flood going on? What do we do? God damn it. You know what's funny is I forget this like... I, in uh, December, I'm like touring in like Colorado and cold, and, but in my head, I'm like, God, ah, December in Colorado will be nice. Cold. Freezing. Freezing. North face. Two of them. Do you think people, I'm, you know, if you're a dude out in a cold city, you're wearing like Pussy. five layers. Oh, no, sorry. but like you're wearing like five layers. You're wearing like fucking long johns. Mm -hmm. The strip down to get naked during sex has got to be funny. Dude, Cause after every... a while. And like, every fucking winter in New York was hilarious. I literally was wearing it's, it's, long johns. It's got to be like a comical level. Like it's one thing, but oh, it's fucking hot. But when but when she's done and you're still like long johns, scarf. Yep. But she's never done. You have to help her because and then and then also, dude, you ever smell some cuda that's been baking in that's nine? What I was just saying. I mean, dude, it that's smells a seven like seven layer fun dip. I mean, it smells like it. El Pollo Loco chicken wings. It is a nightmare. <laughs> it's, I mean, it is. It's not great. Well, dudes probably be stanking up that shit too. Of course, they everybody. Do. But but it's on the same page. It's like you're you're all. Yeah. It is funny when sex just be smelling like sex, and everybody in the room is like, "It is what it is." It is weird when you walk into a room and you go, "Who's been fucking in here?" Yeah, like you can smell it. Yeah, what is that? It smells like teenage mutant ninja turtle dick. <laughs> <laughs> it it just feels it feels warm. It feels in there. like somebody just yelled for a long time, like that <laughs> hot breath. Oh, I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like it. And then your your cat or your dog comes running in. Yeah, dogs. What are they thinking it. that you're doing in there? Are they they think their owner's getting beat up or something? Honestly, I think they know. I think they can smell the pheromones. And they're like, damn, it smells like a panini in this bitch. Wouldn't I am be, hungry. Would you, wouldn't that be wild if you could know, like, if you walked around the world, like, who fucked that day? I like, think you could know. Like, you the know people that are smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know how Sims have that green cone over the head? Yeah. What if you had one that was just like, just purple? Every, every time you had sex, you, wore, you had one for like 12 hours. That's the only time I'd ask my boss for anything. If he had the purple. I'd be like, hey, you oh, mind yeah. if I get off in August? He goes, bitch, you can take off for a fucking quarter. I don't give a yeah, shit. You know that two-week vacation? What if it was two years? And the guy's like, I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't care. But that's when, that's when you know if the president is going to nuke a country. <laughs> if it's not purple. I would keep the president's balls empty. I'd just sit underneath the desk. Just take cum. That's got to be someone's job. It was. Monica Lewinsky. She, where is that dress now? We already looked in it up. In the MoMA. Would you wear that? Ugh, I don't even. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? Would I wear that dress? <laughs> what? Sure. I don't know. Am I wearing it to record my special on HBO? Are you going to wear that? That'd be tight. Gabe's porn. Did we even finish what Gabe's porn was? Angela. So. Yeah, oh, Angela White, Gene oh, Ripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something about like just loose vagina in, in jeans. That's so hot to me. What just like loose, flappy You mean vagina. raw dog in it? Yeah, wow. raw dog in yeah. jeans. Yeah, but yeah. girls' jeans are like, they're all tight in there. So it, even if it's loose, not, nothing's moving around. God, man, Cooter's great. It's great. It's yeah. fucking great. It's always warm in there. It's never cold once. Even if it's December, that fucking VJJ is warm as shit. It always feels like a toaster strudel. Great. Yeah, always. It's just a nice hug. It's like, welcome home. It does feel like home. It's a welcome mat for your cock. God, it feels like your dad finally came to your baseball game. <laughs> and stayed for more than two innings before getting kicked out for a drunken public. 
What's that bond? But do you ever think that, you know, like the cooch is always warmed up and ready? Do you think she's ever like complimenting the dick? She's like, it's always just hard and ready. Dicks really don't be doing much. It's a flagpole. But the right. It's a flagpole. But the right dick for the, like, it, right. the I right know, but, one, I think they go a little fucking wild for it. Yeah. The right one. But That's if it's what, not the right one, then fucking cousin it's like, hey, come get it. And he's she's like, oh Jesus Christ. I'll fucking jerk you off. Can we go to Home Depot? Do you think well is it like a Cinderella effect? Like once it fits, they go, Oh, this is a good one. I think once the emotionality is locked in, then I think that happens. You know how sometimes the thought of In N Out is great, and then you get a burger from In N Out and you're like, it didn't hit. Do you think a lot do you think yes. women have a problem where they're like, this oh, this guy seems like he's great? And then they <clears> take a bite or a pump of the conk and they're like, ugh. It's just not it. Dude, that happens to us all the time, too. I know, I, I know but like, do you, I don't know. Y yes. I, I think that happens by the trillion kabillion. When a girl's like, oh my God, he's so cute. Wonder, he went to Princeton. He has a, he right. works at fucking BlackRock. He's so, he's so funny. Mm. He has all these hobbies. Oh my God. And we like the MoMA together. And then we finally go back. We take the F train. It's fucking awesome. We're flirting. Da, da, da. And we finally get back there and he took his pants off and it was like, honestly, really hot. And then he like put it in and he's like, his stroke was Started just doing like the worm. off. <laughs> <laughs> can you worm in that pussy? You can. Hey. God damn. Microdose gummies. Dude, robots you, in disguise. High in disguise. Whoa. Because it's not too high. You know nope. what it is? Microdose gummies, dude. You ever been to microdose.com? You have today. Dude, you probably, you've heard a lot about microdosing. I have. Just know yep. that all sorts of people are microdosing daily to feel healthier and perform better. Our show today is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Dude, Microdose Gummies deliver the perfect entry-level dose of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. All right, they really, they really, they, they oh, really do taste and feel amazing. Yeah, I've used them to help get in the zone when doing creative work or just like take a nice nap, chill out, sleep like a baby. All around, ten out of ten for your boy, buddy. And microdose available nationwide. Wait, but what if what if that loud ain't available in my state? It's in nationwide. Wow. All right, nationwide. And if you want to learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com. Literally the easiest website in the world. Microdose.com and use promo code SOCKS, SOCKS. once you've done your researching to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Holy crap, Dude, Ola. Free shipping, 30% off first order. Now, that's a not microdose. Yep, links can be found <laughs> in the show description. But again, that is microdose.com and use code SOCKS. So microdose your wallet and save money by going to microdose.com. Promo code socks. It's great for data. God damn. Do you think you'd want to know your NBA 2K stats if it was for sex? Yes. Do you think you would be better or worse than we? Do you think your stats would be higher or lower than what you think? I think, honestly, I think they would be exactly what I think they would be. Interesting. And Which what are, do you think that, what do you think you're like, if people were to draft you for their team, what do you think your number one stat would be? My number one stat? Yeah. You know, like, is it? Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't play enough 2K to know what all the top ones are, but it's like yeah. agility or speed or blah, 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 shit like that. What do you think your number one stat would be sexually? Um, uh, I think my number one stat would be, would be like the ability to know. Here we go. I think the ability to try certain things like a Rubik's Cube and then find the appropriate... Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for like a one word answer here. Like, I don't have one. Like Dude, endurance. But it but like but I don't but I don't but I don't think I have endurance. I don't think I have I know, like I, yeah, some un, like speed. I think the the okay, how about this? The ability to know how to make a girl come. Great. Great. That's the yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's my a damn soliloquy. Just be like, I think make somebody come. Yeah, I think I could like, you know, flesh, left, right, yeah, the, I, uh, I guess I'm uh, saying like in terms of like if there's like ten things, it was like passion, endurance, length, girth, like where are you rocking in? You know? Probably passion. Passion. I could make a girl want to fuck and then we would get in the moment, then it's just like uh, you know, I'm we're gambling. But I think like <laughs> you know, I'm putting I'm putting my frozen cum on the fucking table. Like who knows? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but again, it's like what you having passion foreplay how about oh my number one thing would be foreplay really yeah what i can make a yeah what do you do to get things feeling spicy in the air why asking, is spicy asking for personal reasons <laughs> yes like, what, what, why do you think i do this podcast <laughs> do you, do you, there's so many times that i ask questions like that are a third person out of me like, right, right what do you think would be a, dude right. are you kidding me for, i don't know how to finger a woman and i'm a full-ass adult <laughs> And I've learned and I've looked online, but it's like, 
You are over here every week sitting in the chair like, I'll make a bitch come. I'll make a bitch come. I'll make a bitch come. <laughs> Show me. You say you're one of my best friends? Please, Show me. Please, please don't please don't personify me as a podcaster like that. It feels I am, am is that me? <laughs> But that's why I think it'd be funny to know your actual yeah. stats. Because if it wasn't what you picture, I think you would right. be down bad. If 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 your performance, you're like, I make a bitch come, and then you really you pull it up on twenty twenty three two k, and yeah, it's yeah. like, <clears throat> yeah, you get like a B minus making a bitch come. I think you'd be like, who who made this game? <laughs> the, the thing Was it is, my ex? <laughs> for for maybe the thing is though, it's so like it's so specific to who you're like having. This sounds so fucking new agey, but it's so specific to who you're engaging with energy was. So yes, maybe like, say there's 20 women in a room, maybe like, <laughs> well, hold on, bear with me. So like, maybe like half of those women, my, my quote unquote, like abilities would work astronomically well, but there's definitely going to be some women in that 20 that are like, he was fine. He didn't know. You right, know what right, I mean? right, right, right. You're always like, right. for sure. There's women that, that might be listening right now that like did the coitus and they're like, he was fine. Fucking average. Right. This guy's talking a big game. A fucking make a lady come. No, you don't. You didn't make me come once. I faked the entire time. My cousin, did I make you? All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I lost where we were. <laughs> 2K stats. What would yours be? What would your, your best uh, 2K sex stat be? I love this. If you say personality, I would fucking <laughs> throw this chair through the window. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah 2k stats what would be your best one in the bedroom god this is yeah isn't it you made me do this and now yeah it's weird isn't it <laughs> well i know because i tend to downplay everything that way if i do get a compliment or a girl does this and she's like oh well you're actually good at that and i'm like all right tell that to the developers <laughs> i i think honestly and this is <laughs> <laughs> probably kissing <laughs> kissing <laughs> that's like the only thing that I hear from what me. in the YouTube had a kiss video <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking telling you dude how is that not yours that kiss. should be your go too you taught I'm hundreds, not 11 hundreds of millions of men and women out there how to kiss because I pay mm. rent I'm not 12 kissing what? yeah that but, but, shit but, but, is... but that leads to like them in the foreplay getting turned on you know like that's just something i hear from women like no nah. hey, good cancer. Uh, fucking you gotta make a girl come ea sports <laughs> it's in the come <laughs> um i'm curious to know i think dude i mean literally i don't know like <laughs> like i think i'm the brian scalabrini of sex like oh uh, you can put huh? me in I'm the Brian Scalabrini of sex. Like, you can put me in for a few minutes. I might not make it rain, but I'll drop a couple threes on you. I'll get where, a couple like, oh. Uh. Where do you think you're at? One, like, scale of one to ten. Like, ten being the highest. Ten being laid it down, can't walk the next morning. Yeah, yeah. Jay Alvarez sex tape. God, his cock six, was seven, yummy. Six. Six. I don't, dude. Six is not bad. It, dep it depends. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's when you ask me a question. It really depends because I guarantee you there are women out here that I pipe down and they go, he, I can't believe he said pipe down. This guy had a I fucking mean, dude, I've, golf pencil of a cock. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've definitely had some moments where like, I think my rating is negative. <laughs> like, like I think I went in there with a, whatever, a six and I, whatever. I just, you know, miscalculated. Your boy came quick, had to run errands, best buy, hard drive, <laughs> get porn from Gabe. <laughs> And, you know, a moment like that, a lady's going to be like, well, that was terrible. Yeah. Do I even give it a number? But I do think that there's been times where, like, I remember this girl said this to me. She goes, she's like, like, that was like, you surprised me. She's like, I didn't expect this from you. And I was like, there you go. It's hot. But also, what did you think about me when you used to see me? He goes, just like, look at this fucking walking string cheese. Well, I, I think more often than not, I have women, well, I guess before this podcast, but I've had m so much of my life women say that to me because we're like goofballs. Right. Like when I'm outside of oh, like the sex, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. a goofball. And then yeah. when you when you cross that threshold into sex land, fucking fuck town. Fuck town USA, <laughs> population, yeah. me and you. Me. Uh, but but yeah. And then, it's and then a different game. It's yeah. a different thing. Yeah. And I'm choking, oh, that's spitting, true. Yeah. putting feet in my ass, like yeah. the whole thing. And they're like, whoa, that was, I didn't. Yeah, Expect that. I can't like make a YouTube video where I'm dressed as a cat, be like meow, and then Correct. I fucking like, yeah, bitch, take it. They're like, yeah, whoa, <laughs> meow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it flash is flood. So, <laughs> so what? So, what do you think your overall rating would be on this? Sex Seventy percent, seventy. Yeah, it's really not bad, dude. Because I think it's, 
you know, I've I've definitely had some I've missed a few free throws. I've missed a couple wide open layups, but I've also dunk that bitch every once in a while. Oh, oh, talk to him, daddy. Oh, I've 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 done dunk the oh. dunk. Talk to him, Dad. I might be a fourth quarter player because the first half I came quick, but that second, <laughs> that second, the halftime speech, Blue Chew. Hopefully, it's in this episode. Sure, always is. Hell yeah, it is. Insert it, but but that's, I yeah, I think I've had moments where I fucking laid it down. Then I've also had moments where they go, I wish I didn't Uber here. <laughs> you ever give your cock a halftime speech, bitch? Get bigger, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done like a like a a cock motivational speech with whiskey yeah. dick. Like, dude, you can fucking work. Come on, dude. Fuck it. Just, just give me like 20 more percent. Oh, yeah. You're almost there. That's what, what is I, it with whiskey and your dick that just don't, they're just beefing. They're just two beta fish. Like, oh, fuck with him. But but tequila, opposite. Tequila, me, opposite. Gin, somebody suck me. Oh, you think gin, you got a hard ass dick, 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 dick? <laughs> uh, maybe. I think anything but whiskey. Yeah. I don't know if vodka does anything for me. Vodka's dumb. Is vodka even a liquor? It doesn't do anything. I, I have to tell myself I'm drunk when I drink vodka. I'd be like, yeah, I guess I'm drunk. I took eight shots. I should be drunk. Yeah, Grey Goose. Tequila, what I know hell? I'm drunk because I'm drunk texting a pastor. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> a pastor? What'd I say? A pastor of <laughs> land? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no, tequila's fun because you, your body gets warm. You're like, ooh, it's kicking in. Yeah, but tequila makes me want to fight a lime scooter. Like it's just like <laughs> yeah. I'm like I'm get, I get angry for no reason. Yeah, but once you get oh really? That's whiskey for me. Oh really? I'll fight a telephone yeah, I, pole. It's just I, it's I'd odd. be getting an emotional drunk off the whiskey. I do too. Yeah, but I'll, I'll get a text, text my... that's like sounds good, and I'll be like, oh, it doesn't sound great. <laughs> oh, a period right there. An exclamation point. No emojis. It's so funny. You don't be ex excited to see me when I'm on whiskey and you like have like a, a heart to heart with a friend. I'll cry. Like, oh, if you're yeah. like, dude, no, no, you're my boy. Like, you've helped yeah. me through so much. That's like, what we need to that's do for the link. You fuck it. I mean, we're in the middle of fucking God, Buffalo I Wild Wings. <laughs> just like, so crying. Yeah. <laughs> you're like hyping up how good their life is when you're paying with EBT for a single <laughs> chicken wing. But not that there's anything wrong with that. I, 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 maybe for the four year episode, I would, I'm curious to know what they want from the people listening and watching. Yeah. What, what, what do you think we should do for a four year episode? Because I do think it'd be, funny to do a drunk episode because i think it would have that flow in the beginning it'd be like fucking hell yeah i'd pipe down a liquid death can but then like 30 <laughs> minutes in I'd be like dude this podcast like gave me so much more than just a friend <laughs> what were we talking about <laughs> yeah. and then you look and i'm just slowly paying my pants <laughs> <laughs> clip it um yeah but you know what we could do we can have them pick which liquor we should drink and we should drink different liquors so like you're on whiskey or tequila, whatever, and I'm on. A I think we're on the same page. Oh really? Because if you do tequila and I'm on whiskey, I'm trying to like confess my emotions. Yeah, and I'm just fighting a cat in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just body slam one of the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> you're like that's so expensive. Fuck this. <laughs> Four years. <laughs> we've been doing a podcast almost as long as a presidential term, and we've done more. Biden's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't, you said it like it was a threat. Oh shit! <laughs> no, I'm just, man, I don't know. Word association. Sock talk. Sock talk. <laughs> Gabe tried to do it with us like an hour ago. Uh, this is all great though. I'm this was we, great. We skipped it. Yeah. Um. All right, but we do have some good submissions today. Let's do this. This is um, sock talk from Smexy Felgar. Hot. And they say, for No Nut November, do you guys have any strategies on how I might possibly survive? Don't do it. Come. You, Why? You just you just have to be out of your apartment until you're so tired. Yeah, that that's you, actually true. You just like you have to just like lurch home and go right to sleep. Like so go like, to work, go to the gym, then another oh, thing. You got to go to work, then go to the gym, then have a night shift somewhere. Yeah. Like and and nowhere like not an office building where you can where you can sneak out. You and got a lot of employees. Oh, you work alone. You gonna touch yourself? Yeah, you have to like your night job has to be like building a a building, like just around <laughs> a bunch of dudes, and we're all, they're all fucking construction. Yeah. And the porta like, potty's broken, so you got to hold it for eight hours. A hundred percent. And then you just and you go home, and like the last thing you want to do is touch your cock. Like you need the only thing you want to touch is a pillow, and you go right to sleep. You wake up, and you got to go right to your security job at the MoMA. 
like right there. Mm-hmm. That's the only way it, it can happen. I know other other people would say, "Oh, willpower, shut up." Willpower don't just, work. I just think it's like you know, coming out of a pandemic, you gonna put that against yourself. Get a nut off. Dude, if there's one thing I say for my 2024 presidential election, get, get a nut off. Life's yeah. too stressful. Oh, people have porn addictions. Do they? Yeah. Or are they just <laughs> dedicated to coming? <laughs> I mean, dude, people set up goon rooms. Here's the thing that I think is more beneficial. I know people that take a month off porn, but they still touch themselves. Right? Yeah. Imagination. Yeah. Listen, you can do that. That's baby steps. You know what else you do? Take Adderall. Cock don't work. This shit don't work for nothing. It looks like a turtle's head. <laughs> that and that's on a good day. Doesn't even doesn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, if yeah, maybe try not watching porn. That could help. Be more wholesome. Also, like a real answer. I know we're all fucking around. Real answer. Meditation is great. Like meditation. I know we fuck around the, the about the Winhoff method, but like doing any of that meditation, like yoga. If you're ever feeling like that, also a real simple thing. People underestimate a walk. Yeah. Like if you're home, dude, and you're like, oh, I need to, I need Good to, I need walk. to, literally just go for a walk, put on like, Trevor's gonna make fun of me, put on like an audio book no, and, just, and, just ta- and just take a walk, man. You come back like 30, 40 minutes, like, I don't, I'm, I'm good. I'm you good. feel like creative, you feel like you did a thing. There's, yeah. there's days where I go, I haven't been outside yet. Oh, I haven't I, oh seen the sun. And I then but you take a days. lap around the block. Something about just, get, it gets the whole body moving, you know? Yeah, something about seeing a fake bird. Yeah. Those aren't real. A fake bird? A fake bird. Oh, oh, because birds aren't real. Yeah. yeah. Caw, caw, shut the How fuck up. How do you think up. birds feel about that? That they're not real? No, but like the real birds. <laughs> or there's no real birds. Well, I think there's a few real birds. But could you imagine being a bird and they're like, yeah, birds aren't real. You're like, what? What the hell am I? <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine being space? <laughs> <laughs> there's so much more out there. Sir, I can't wait for the aliens to come. In what way? I, here's here's a real thing before we get into the secret sock. There's part of me that hopes aliens comes because I'm just like, that'd be cool to fuck an alien. You think you I get think a you disease? Can. What? You think you get a disease? I don't, I don't, I don't think you go raw dog in an alien. I think your dick would disintegrate. <laughs> I think hot. you'd put it in and you'd, and you'd go to pull out and you just wouldn't have one. That might be better for everyone's life. Or be like life. permanently pixelated. Japanese porn. Are they still doing that? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. That's got to be a tough job for the editor. Oh, yeah. Tracking a blur shot. Cum shot, too. Do they blur the cum shot? I think they blur the whole screen. Is it porn? <laughs> no. All right. All right. Secret sock. Anonymous submission. Um, I don't nut when I jerk off. When I am jerking <laughs> off and about to come, I squeeze the tip so nothing comes out. It feels the same. Where does it go, dude? I mean, what if he got himself pregnant, <laughs> dude? That that feels like those people who like sneeze and they go, <clears throat> yeah, and what? they hold it in. Where's let go? it out? You have to. Yeah, it's even weirder to do. Like, what is their fear? Might get a couple droplets on the laptop. Let it like it's so much weird because I feel like their brain just goes <sighs> and just suffocates. Oh, yeah. it. They're gonna have, get an aneurysm at some point. I, yeah, I'd I really feel don't... like it sounds so bad for you. It's yeah, it's a lot of yeah. pressure. Yeah. Ew. Um. Yeah, man. I. I mean, I, I've honestly never even heard of that. So he. So I. But maybe he edge essentially edges himself to the point where he is feeling an orgasm sensation, but nothing's coming out. And that's fine. But if you're coming like inside your your urethra like consistently, that can't be great for the pipes. You're gonna get the pipes are gonna get clogged up. Or maybe it's fine. I don't that's a weird one. Also, just hit him with the with the twenty seventeen Trev. Come in the hand. Yeah. Throw it on a trash can. You could do that. <laughs> Lay up, alley oop. It might what do you think? What if it might it might feel better? Do you think this would be hot if you came in the air and then a girl tried to catch it like it was a video game? Uh, no, because after I come, I don't want to do any I, like I ev- anything's un- <laughs> everything's worst, unhot. What's the worst thing you could do after coming for you? Like, what's like the like the biggest? You're like, what? You want me to do that? Tough mutter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Sometimes before I work out or like ride like the peloton, I'm like, I should just get a nut off. But I go, don't do it. You can't. No, you're in the gym just lifting five pound weights. You're just- you don't give a shit. No. 
Dude, you know what's crazy is the pre-workout makes me horny. So I have to like take the pre-workout and run to my fake Peloton. Run to it. Because if I get on, then I'm fine. But oh, that pre-workout yeah, yeah. hits me and boy, Jesus of my Christ, fuck. My cock is like, ayo. Is there anything that doesn't make you horny? Uh, mayonnaise sandwiches. Yeah. Well. My grandma singing Jewish songs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, is that a thing? Is that a podcast? That that was one. Yeah, it's a I, podcast. That was like a podcast with an asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was so fun. It was great. It's a flash flood. Yeah. I'm going to take a raft home. I Rafferty can't Center. Rafferty Center. That's why I'd fuck women. <laughs> Instead of going to lit class, you would be. Yeah, I bang out click class. There you go. What up? Title. Title. Click class. Click class. All right, it's over. Guys, the podcast is over. Thank you all so much for uh, supporting. Go on goddamn. Uh, I was going to say Shopify. Go on Spotify <laughs> or, or iTunes. Rate, subscribe, and review. It really, really helps us out. Also, friend and reminder, we have a goddamn Patreon for extra episodes. Ad-free drops every Friday um, for only five freaking dollars. It's insane. You get access to the you get access to the Discord and an entire back catalog of over like 160 episodes. So get on that. Go on uh, patreon.com backslash Stiff Socks Pod for only five dollars. Also, we have uh, Stiff Socks Plus on Apple, if you want uh, same bonus episodes, audio only, that's all, that's five dollars as well. If you guys are love love videos, I would suggest the Patreon. So, guys, that's it. That's freaking podcast. Come and see Mr. Wallace and Mr. Boston on tour. And boop, boop, boop. That is it. Goodbye, guys.